Steph, make movies. God bless you. Thank you for watching me. And we're back two times today because I missed the video yesterday. I'm coming back with another video. Make sure we get this page to 100,000 subscribers. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm building out the family, building out the community, the Millionaire Movie Club. We'll get there. Uh, so today I want to get into the Perimeter BET Plus story. If you have not watched Perimeter yet, make sure you go watch Perimeter on BET Plus and you might see a face you recognize. So I'm going to start from the very beginning. At this time, I was in New York City filming um, a film with Zara when I got the audition. And by the grace of God, I was in my elements. This was one of my early times in New York. So there was a lot of great energy. I was feeling like a super actor. Can you imagine? I just got booked to go work in the commercial capital of the world. Best actor in the world. That's how I was feeling. And it was a great experience, great people on set, everything. So when the audition came in, I reached out to one of the producers on set. Hey, I have this audition. Do you have some equipment? Do you have a space that I can use? And uh, he said, sure, Steph, I'll, fi I'll figure it out and get back to you. Mr. Josh, Josh Sandok, shout out to him. And... Um, Yeah, so I let Josh know that I had this audition I needed to get done before I headed back to Atlanta. And he said he would work on it. At the same time, also, I asked my co-star, Gavo. Mr. Gavo, Mr. Gavin Peppers. I said, hey, I have this uh, I have this audition that I need to film before I hop on the plane and go back. And Gavo... Before I even get into that, you guys need to go watch Gavo. Strong, strong actor. He's one of those names you're going to remember, Gavin Peppers. Also from Maryland, the DMV. So, you know, the connection was instantaneous. So we were working together on this set. The vibes were immaculate. So I asked Gavo, I said, Gavo, do you know where I can tip this audition? He tells me about Marvin self-taping with Marvin and he gives me his contact information and he just tells me good things about the guy and I say okay no problem no problem so I think once we got film once we got done filming that day I went and I contacted um Marvin self-taping with Marvin shout out to him and I was able to make an appointment and everything it went fine um so the following day so follow me there. I was in Brooklyn, nearby where uh, Jay-Z is from, if you know that area. Marcy Projects. I was on that side of Brooklyn. And taping with Marvin was on a completely other side of Brooklyn. I had my first time in New York, so I was just ready for any adventure. I was going everywhere. <laughs> I was ready for anything, going everywhere. So I think because I have to, I had to travel that day, I set the, the appointments very early. It was 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning that I set the, the appointment. And so I remember getting on the train, going to the other side of Brooklyn and uh, linking up with Marvin. I remember as I was, as I was coming to this, to this other side of Brooklyn, it was a very much different atmosphere than where I was near Marcy. This side, there was even foreigners. There was even people speaking French. There was houses and grass and, and, and like a football field. I said, wow, are we still in Brooklyn? Brooklyn is so massive. It was completely two different worlds, but within the same borough. So I get to Marvin's taping. Very kind guy. The setup was clean. Marvin had all different types of lights, everything. So by this time, I had already prepped. I already had an idea of what I wanted to do. I had already prepped. I had already done my research. I came ready. So I kind of told him how I like to work. He gave me some of his ideas. And then we just started playing. We just started playing. We did that entire audition. It wasn't long. 
by the grace of God, it wasn't long. I was able to prep within a day. I was able to prep, book the book the uh, book the time slot, and complete it within one day. So we went. We played with it within about an hour. It was done. It was done. Uh, wow. Um, that was an amazing time, to be honest. I remember feeling so accomplished leaving that place because I was book. I was working on a film in New York that was going well. And then while I'm there, I receive an audition for a pilot. Ha! God is working. God is working. So that is part one of the perimeter story. If you want me to continue, uh, drop the comments in the, uh, you know, in the comment section. And if you've watched perimeter, you like it, you don't like it, drop it in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Uh, so that's all for now. Steph make movies. God bless you. Thank you for watching me. Make sure you help this page get to 100,000 subscribers and I will see you all next time.